Hi, I'm Dr. Singhania from Singhania Clinic. I'm going to be talking about vomiting. Now, vomiting is a common occurrence amongst children and babies and most often is because of viral infection. Vomiting is actually a reaction of the body. Some part of the brain gets triggered either because of food poisoning or infections or some medicines or even motion sickness and then child vomits. You know, vomiting actually can be beneficial because the body is trying to expel or throw out harmful substances but a word of caution and no condition should a child be made to vomit or to expel a harmful substance and so if a child takes something uh, like a poison he must be immediately taken to the emergency now what are the causes of vomiting like I said the commonest one is viral infection but you can have other infections as well it can be indigestion surgical condition head trauma so the diagnosis depends upon the child's age the kind of vomiting is it acute chronic episodic and of course the relevant history like does a child have a fever did he have a head trauma did the child eat anything outside is there any nausea unfortunately nausea is something which uh, children cannot tell easily so it cannot be relied on now most babies will spit up milk and this is common and of uh, no real consequence but if a baby is forcefully vomiting it always requires further evaluation because it may be a sign of more serious conditions conditions like pyloric stenosis or intestinal obstructions. Again, like I said earlier, older infants and children vomit, the commonest cause being viral gastroenteritis or gastritis. The sign is the child suddenly starts to vomit and most often it resolves quite quickly within 24 to 48 hours. Now, if this doesn't happen, then you may need to go to the doctor. Older kids also, the commonest cause is viral infectious gastroenteritis, but a more dangerous situation like appendicitis induced vomiting like in bulimia the, ch the teenager will make herself or himself vomit unusually pregnancy can present with vomiting gastric ulcers inflammatory bowel disease like Crohn's disease is an important differential diagnosis and consumption of toxic substances especially if there is some kind of substance abuse in uh, the history but there are some serious signs uh, so if a child vomits monitor the child closely if the child is getting better, that's fine. But if he's not, then uh, you have to take them to emergency. Other important signs to make note of are severe pain, prolonged vomiting, profound lethargy. The child is listless, like hypotonic. There is weight loss or signs of dehydration, which I'll be talking about later. Bilious vomiting, projectile vomiting, blood and stool or vomitus can be signs of uh, intestinal obstruction. Meningitis, where the child may have a bulging anterior fontanelle. The child may have headaches or altered consciousness or seizures and of course history of head trauma. Now these are serious signs and the child should be immediately taken to the ER. Now what are the signs of dehydration? The commonest, uh, the most dangerous part of vomiting is uh, a child getting dehydrated. You know babies are uh, more prone to dehydration and young children because they have a border, greater body surface area as compared to their weight. So prevention of vomit dehydration Hydration is very important. The mild signs of dehydration are the child has a slightly dry mouth, the child is feeling thirsty, but severe dehydration means decreased urination so that the child hasn't wet a diaper or gone to the bathroom for six hours or more. The child has a very dry mouth, sunken eyes, is very lethargic and listless. For mild dehydration, care can be taken at home. In children, we don't say that you should stop eating. In fact, food is important to help the child. Uh, continue to gain weight and grow. There is something called the BRAT diet, you know, where it's complex carbohydrate, bananas and rice and toast and apple. Very importantly, the uh, rehydration fluids, which can be easily made at home, like water, a pinch of salt and a spoonful of sugar, like eight ounces water. And giving this in sips in between the vomits is important. If the child is breastfeeding, continue to breastfeed and do not stop. Medicines for reducing nausea and vomit can only be used when prescribed by doctors. A very important thing is to spread infection. So washing hands frequently, keeping a sick child at home and out of school or daycare is an important aspect of management. So the key points are monitor for dehydration, do not force the child to eat but encourage fluids and gentle diet, avoid juices and high sugar content and prevent spread by washing hands frequently. If you're seeking help, please visit our website website 
www.singhaniaclinic.com or call us on the number shown below.